In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can save space on our iPhone by offloading apps as opposed to deleting them. When we offload an app, it deletes the app, but it still keeps all of the data and documents. Let's take a look at how we offload an app as opposed to deleting an app on the iPhone. Let's go to my iPhone. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, we can either offload an app or we can delete an app. When we delete an app, it deletes everything about that app, including any data and documents. It removes it from your home screen. When you offload an app, it deletes the app itself, but it does not delete any data and documents. So it's going to free up some space, but it is not going to delete any of your documents associated with that app. To delete an app, I'm going to swipe over to the left. To delete an app, all we would need to do is just tap and hold on the app icon and then you're going to see delete app. If I were to delete this, it would just delete that app and I would no longer have it on my iPhone and it would also delete any data and documents associated with that app. Well, that's fine if you just want to delete the app and you no longer want to use it. But let's say you needed to free up some space, so you need to delete some apps or remove some apps, but you do not want to delete the data and documents associated with that app. Maybe you need to use that app in a few months, so you just want to keep all of your data and documents with it, but you do not want to delete the actual app. We do this through offloading apps. To offload an app, what we need to do is we need to go to our settings app. So now I'm going to swipe over to the right, and we go over to settings. From here, what we do is we swipe up until we see general. Now what we need to do is we need to go to iPhone storage. When I tap on iPhone storage, I have a list of all of my different apps. So now let's go back over to that tap forms. You're going to see it has taken up 44 megabytes. What I want to do is I want to offload this app to free up some of my space, but I do not want it to delete any of my data and documents. To offload an app, as well as see how much space the actual app is taking up, as well as the documents and data, what we need to do is we need to tap on this. From here, what we're able to do is see how large the app is. In this case, this app is 43 megabytes. So if I were to offload it, it would remove 43 megabytes from my hard drive. But you're also going to see I have 741 kilobytes of documents and data it would not remove this documents and data when I offload the app. If I delete it, it's going to remove everything, both the app and documents and data. I offload it, it only removes the app, the 43 megabytes. Now if we look here, you're going to see I can also delete my app from here. So if I did want to delete the app, I could do that as well. But what I want to do is I want to offload it. I want to remove that 43 megabytes. I tap on Offload App, I confirm it, and now that app is removed from my iPhone. The documents and data is still on my iPhone. Only the app has been removed from my iPhone. If I want to reinstall it, all I do is just tap on Reinstall App, and it'll download it from the App Store and reinstall it. Also, it does keep the app icon on my home screen but it also adds a little cloud to the beginning of the name so we can see that it is offloaded. Let's take a look at the app icon. Let's go to my home screen. And then if we swipe over to the left, you're going to see I still have that app, Tap Forms. But if we look at the name, you're going to see on the left, I have a little cloud icon. This is telling me that this app is offloaded. So if I needed to load this app back up, maybe I need to use this app, all I need to do is just tap on it. It's going to load that app from the App Store, and then all of my documents and data associated with that app are also going to be on my iPhone. If I would have deleted this, it would have removed it from my iPhone, and then if I download it again, I would not have any of the data and documents associated with that app. Now we can also do this automatically. I'm going to go back over to my settings app. I tap on settings here. And now we need to go back over to general. And we need to go to 
iPhone storage. You're going to see that we have an option here for offload unused apps. When I enable this, what's going to happen is, is the iPhone will automatically offload any unused app. So it'll still keep it on your iPhone screen. It's just going to have that little cloud to the left of the name. When you need to use the app, if it has been offloaded, you just tap on it. It'll download that app again, and then you can use that app. You're not going to lose any of your data and documents. If I turn this on or enable this, it's going to save 104 megabytes on my iPhone. So let's go and enable this. Now what it's going to do is it's just going to watch my use of my apps and any app that I do not use in a while, it will offload it to save space. Also what's going to happen is, is this option here is going to disappear. I'm going to swipe up from the bottom and now let's go back over to my settings app and then we go over to general and then we go over to iPhone storage. This is where we were just at, but if we look here, you're going to see I do not have the option to turn off offloading apps. How do I turn this back off? Maybe I no longer want to offload any apps. Well, in order to turn offloading apps back off, if you wanted to, all you need to do is just go back over to General, and then we go back over to Settings. We need to go to iTunes and App Store, and when we tap on this, you're going to see at the very bottom here, Offload Unused Apps, and it is turned on. If I turn this off, that setting will show back up in Storage. So now I go back over to Settings, and then we go to General here, and then we go to iPhone Storage. You're going to see we have our setting back, and now I can enable again. So that's how we offload apps on the iPhone and why we would want to offload an app as opposed to deleting it on the iPhone. When you offload an app, it deletes the app itself, but not any of the documents and data that are associated with that app. It also keeps it on the home screen. To download the app again, if it is offloaded, you just tap on the app icon and it'll download it. To offload an app, you go to Settings, General, and then iPhone Storage. You can also have the iPhone offload your unused apps automatically. So that's how you offload apps as opposed to deleting them on the iPhone.